welcome back or welcome to my channel um first of all my dog is barking ignore it i don't know how long it's going to be going for whatever secondly um disclaimer there will be some surgery discussion uh, medical discussion if you don't like that kind of conversation go ahead and click out um i'll see you in another video totally fine as you read by the title the title and the thumbnail are a little dramatic I had to take an opportunity. So as you read by the title, today's video is a post-surgery update and it's kind of my new temporary reality. There are some minor changes to my everyday life due to this surgery. Um, super quick, as I, I don't remember if I explained what the surgery was in my last video, but in case you didn't see it or in case I didn't explain it because I don't remember and I'm not looking back, I got, long story short, I got my eardrum grafted from the skin around my ear and put into my head. My eardrum was near gone. Don't know why, don't know how. Um, probably from all the trauma that I endured in my ears as a child due to infections, surgeries, yada, yada, yada. I've had ear problems my whole life. That's why I can't hear. So they grafted an eardrum and they stuck her in there. And they also pulled out a benign tumor. Um, it was tested, completely non-cancerous, but if they didn't, I did a little extra Google search, and if they didn't take it out, it would have eventually caused damage to the bones in the middle ear. So even though it was non-cancerous, they still had to take her out because she would have caused problems. Could she come back? Perhaps, they don't know. We're gonna do a CT scan in about a year, so. But that's taken care of. And so now my new reality is most of the sound coming in sounds normal. Some of it sounds a little muffled. Um, I still can't hear. My hearing right now, today, might actually be worse than before the surgery because of the packing and it's like the part that's like by my ear opening is like crusted over so it's like blocking out some sound so i can't hear a little worse than before hopefully it's temporary as the packing starts to break down and i'm assuming fall out of my head so but there's packing in my ear so most of the sound coming in sounds fine me coming out to myself i sound muffled and I sound distorted and it was something I really had to get used to I'm still getting used to it and in some senses I feel like I don't have very good volume control sometimes I feel like I'm too quiet sometimes I feel like I'm shouting I, I sometimes just don't know how loud or softly I'm speaking due to how I sound to myself in this ear um it's a little annoying I'm gonna be honest probably one of the bigger challenges that I'm facing but you know, we got to do what we got to do. So I went back to work this week. That was interesting. I was struggling a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Um, the last couple of days I was in fourth grade. I was struggling a little bit with the pain and um, not necessarily the volume because I was honest with them and they actually, I think, kept their volume at a decent level. I have to be honest. It's just the redirection that is what was causing the pain because when I talk too much or if I eat too much, I get some pain up here in my upper jaw due to the stitches. And that's interesting. The pain the last day or so hasn't been as bad, so that's really good. My ear, the stitches and the inside, they itch like all the time, which I'm taking that as a sign of healing. If you know, if you've gotten like a cut or a scrape or even a tattoo, you know that when it's itching, it's healing and it's taking everything in me, obviously to not scratch it. I can't even tap it. I don't even feel comfortable tapping it like I would for a tattoo. I, nope, no thanks. I just suffer in silence. But that is, you know, work is a little challenging. I'm gonna be honest, work is a little challenging, but we're pushing through. The other challenge that I have is with the gym actually. So, all this week, I did go back to the gym Tuesday. All this week, I've been doing cardio. Nothing 
but cardio and it's been very mild cardio not even moderate like mild cardio i do i've been doing my treadmill struts on a zero incline like completely basic a to get back into the swing of things and b to make sure that my body can handle it because i'm not trying to potentially have irreversible damage i want to make sure that this heals the way it is supposed to heal like my doctor said i cannot lift more than 10 pounds i'm not gonna go out of my way constantly to be like oh no like i'm good i'm good like no you can go ahead and pick that up for me thank you you know i mean obviously if i'm at work at the child care center i was in the baby room yesterday so i gotta do what i gotta do i was just extremely careful you gotta do what you gotta do but it's not like I'm going out of my way all day, every day to prove that I'm still strong. Like, no, I'm going to go ahead and let this heal the way it's supposed to heal before all of this was for nothing. Because I don't want this to be for nothing. This hurt. I was under for hours. This hurt. I'm good. But so the challenge with the gym is I cannot lift more than 10 pounds and I have to take it easy. I can't overdo it. So all this week was cardio. Next week... I will dabble with some very light weights, um, probably get some, you know, some shoulder work in because personally, me, I can't lift too much for my shoulders anyway. The most I can lift is 15 pounds. So doing like five to 10 pounds for my shoulders will be literally fine. Leg work, it's going to be like mostly body weight and maybe some booty bands. That's what I have in mind. The only issue with that is I'm not technically allowed to bend below the waist, so we'll have to see what I can come up with. I'm going to brainstorm over the weekend for leg day, but we're going to dabble in with weights next week, and the challenge for May is literally just taking it easy and letting my body heal. I'm not going to come out here and prove how strong I am by getting right back into it. Like I actually think there's more strength in letting the healing process do its thing. This is one of those things where it's like time literally will heal the situation. The stitches will dissolve, they'll do their thing. The packing will eventually break down. I'm assuming it will fall out of my head, out of my ear. Hopefully it doesn't happen at work too much because that would just be like, that would be like terrifying for them, I feel. My sleeping has gotten well, I don't want to say better. My sleeping has gotten better from surgery, but it's back to normal where I'm sleeping, but I'm still waking up three or four times a night. So it's fine. We are just taking this day by day. We're taking this day by day. Um, I can't open my mouth very wide to eat. So I have to like be very mindful about what I'm eating and how I'm eating it. Because if I open my mouth too wide, I still get that jolt of pain. So I have to be very careful. And... I'm getting more comfortable sleeping on this side, actually. As long as my arm is here to cushion my head, I feel more comfortable sleeping on that side. I kept waking up on that side, and I'm like, why do I keep, like, rolling over? Like, my body must be healing to the point where it feels comfortable. I don't know. So I just kind of let it happen, um, naturally. So, but yeah, I have been going through it the last week with this with this healing process. I do have um, eardrops that I have to do twice a day. Well, he technically said one to two times a day. Uh, I'm doing it twice in my operated ear for the most benefits. I also am putting ointment on my stitches still to keep them, you know, from drying out, to keep them um, antibioticized. I just made that up, but we're using that. He didn't say how long I should use the ointment for. I was just going to use it until the stitches were either no longer there or there was like little to no pain maybe. Because sometimes when I put the ointment on, on the back of my ear, I still feel it. But I was just going to use my judgment for that one. But the eardrops, unfortunately, I have to use those until they tell me to stop. So I hate eardrops. I hate them with everything in me, but it's easier to do it on this side because of that packing, because it's technically blocking the hair drops from going all the way into my head. Cause I hate that feeling. I hate the feeling of it going in. So that's nice. But I've been 
doing that twice a day. I've been taking care of myself. I've been doing what I need to do. I have been doing what I need to do. I've been taking it easy. I didn't go to the gym yesterday. Today's Saturday. I didn't go to the gym yesterday because I wasn't going to have time unless I woke up at 4 a.m. to go at 5 a.m. And with how I was sleeping that week, I really didn't think that was a good idea. So I'm listening to my body and we are taking this day by day. So hopefully within the next month or so, we'll be back to normal in some sense, hopefully praying, praying to God that this doesn't last forever because I'll literally go insane if it does. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Become a banana today. Join the banana bunch. We'd love to have you. We are on the road to 250. So go ahead and get this out, share. And if anybody that you know would benefit from my content, um, totally share it with them. Thanks so much. Love you. If you want to know what I'm going to be up to, all my social media will be listed down below like always. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.